Welcome to Pipeline Effects University. Today we're going to learn how to install Cube using the Cube Installer. What we're going to do first is we're going to go make sure that I have a mounted drive and a location to share Cube to. This will be useful when installing on multiple machines. We can just browse to the network location. We're going to go over to my browser and type in www.pipelineeffects.com forward slash download versions. Scroll down to Cube Installer and you can see we have all the different OS's here. For this, we're going to install on Windows and OS X. So let's go and download Windows and set it to the network location. We're also going to install OS X. We'll do the same. And let's jump back to that network location. Open it up and you can see I've got the two installers there. Double click on the archive file to mount it. And then we're going to double click on the installer. You may need to allow permissions for it to run. You can see here this installer is up to date. Click agree. Now it will search the internet for the latest version of Cube. Click continue. Now what we want to do is we want to choose the network mount again so all the install files are downloaded to this location with the installer. You've got options for upgrade installed, client only, which is a workstation, worker, which is a render node, supervisor, which is the main dispatch server, custom, where you can choose, uninstall everything, and download only. This is useful when you've got multiple OS's in your facility. Today we're going to choose custom. I'm going to install Cube Core, Supervisor Worker, Wrangler View, Artist View. In fact, I'm going to install everything. Click Continue. Desktop User Current User is a method of running the service as the logged in user. You have options for service also. This runs underneath the logged in user you can see here there's an explanation of this in greater detail. For this we're going to choose desktop user. Click OK. Now I've sped this up a little bit so that we can get through it quickly. You can see I'm downloading everything. And then once it's all downloaded, we click Commit. You'll need to type in your administrative password so it can install the packages. And once again, I've sped this up so we can see the process quicker. You can see in the background it's mounting each package and installing. And once again, hit commit. And there you have it, you have Cube installed. What you can do now is submit a basic test job and see if the farm is up and running. You can see the job here is running and it was successful. And that's how you install Cube. Now for this, we're going to go and install it on Windows also. You can see here it's created a folder for Mac OS X and also a Cube Custom Quick Start. 
Let's jump over to my Windows box. Browse to the network location. Unpack the zip file. And then double click to run. If you find you're having permission problems, right click and open as administrator. You can see the same process as before. Click agree. Now we do the same as before, choose the network location, and this will create a folder for Windows. So on subsequent machines you can install using the network location without having to re-download all of the packages. For this one I'm going to choose Worker and click Next. I'm going to stick with Desktop User and we can zoom through the process again. and click commit. Run a quick test job to make sure this worker is online. You can see up the top there that the supervisor and the local machine has been found. Let's jump back over to my OSX machine. Open up cube. And you can see the two workers are installed my OS X and my Windows, jump back over the jobs, sort by ID and you can see the two complete test jobs. For easy installation on multiple machines, please watch the follow-up video Cloudfront Effects University Cube Installer using the local repository. This uses the already downloaded packages to easily install. For more information go to docs.pipelineeffects.com